This is Data Specialist Sanders of the Ongoing Data Redundancy Project, SCP-212, Object Classes Safe. Special Containment Procedures Use of SCP-212 must be cleared by the current containment site's Chief Medical Officer. Any subjects undergoing operation by SCP-212 must submit to full physical and psychological testing before and after exposure. Resistance to testing will result in termination of subject. All personnel are to keep at least 1.5 meters from SCP-212 when not in operation. Armed personnel are authorized to use whatever force deemed necessary to prevent unauthorized exposure. Should any personnel accidentally become exposed to SCP-212, full quarantine, testing, and judicial review will be initiated as soon as the subject is released by SCP-212. Description SCP-212 is a large medical device with three large robotic arms. The arms have an extremely diverse array of attachments, but no storage area or power source has yet been found. Attachments slide into and out of the arms as needed, with over 500 different attachments documented. SCP-212 is made of plastic, steel, and other common materials. In-depth analysis is pending as any attempt by mechanical means causes violent action from SCP-212 and attempts by any biological means normally results with subjects improvement. When exposed to living tissue, the arms of SCP-212 will rapidly move to grab and restrain it. SCP-212 will then begin to improve said tissue. This process is extremely fast, but 212 does not inject any anesthetic or replace any blood loss. The process has been described as excruciatingly painful and can result in the death of the subject at a rate of 47%. Wounds made by SCP-212 are closed with standard surgical sutures and a chemical sealant that is not yet fully understood. Improvements that have been observed include lining of joints with graphite, replacement of biological organs with artificial ones, addition of metal plates to bones, addition of new or duplicate organs, and replacement of teeth with small serrated steel bands, among many others. SCP-212 has been shown to be able to totally reconfigure an organism. The improvements appear to be random and can sometimes be detrimental or fatal, as illustrated by one subject's complete loss of bone marrow and its replacement by a gel that is still under study. Subjects wishing to undergo exposure from SCP-212 are to be advised that the process is extremely invasive and that no predictions on improvements can be made. SCP-212 Upgrade Log Record of Exposure to SCP-212 Attention! Any and all exposure to SCP-212 is to be recorded and logged. Unreported exposure to SCP-212 will be met with termination. All subjects willingly exposed to SCP-212 must have O5 command approvals, as well as that of site medical staff. Subject. Agent. 28 years old. 64 kilograms. 183 centimeters tall. African American descent. Submitted request. Approval granted. Description of upgrades. Lower jaw bone replaced by super dense ceramic jaw. Teeth replaced with blades made of the same material. Spine removed and replaced with synthetic polymer. Replacement spine grafted to base of skull. Rib cage and pelvis coated with thin layer of ceramic. Lungs, eyes, and liver removed and replaced after cleaning. Subject status, active duty. Notes. SCP-212 will appear to clean some organs or tissues. It will run several attachments over the tissue, each of which will spray, scan, cut, or otherwise interact with the tissue before replacing it. When tested, these cleaned tissues appear totally free of genetic defects and appear younger than the surrounding tissues. Subject, doctor, 42 years old, 62 kilograms, 170 centimeters, Caucasian, British descent. Submitted request, approval granted. Description of upgrades. Teeth replaced with super dense ceramic, feet amputated at the ankle, replaced by a thin plastic latticework with several pads on the bottom. These pads are capable of sticking to any solid surface and can carry up to 225 kilograms. Bone marrow removed and replaced with a blue gel. Heart, eyes, liver, and kidneys removed and cleaned. Several metal devices inserted into the brain for unknown purpose. Subject status. Subject died during the removal of bone marrow. Foot pads removed and are currently under study. Subject. Personal data redacted. Suffered severe injuries, resulting in traumatic amputation of all four limbs and removal of spleen, left kidney, right lung, and left eye. 
Cranial trauma caused by shard of circuitry piercing skull and entering left frontal lobe of brain. Submitted request. Approval granted. Description of upgrades. Contrary to expectations, SCP-212 did not remove the shard of metal from subject's brain, instead spending approximately seven minutes analyzing the circuitry with a variety of lenses, probes, and sensors before apparently determining that the foreign body could be left in place. SCP-212 then proceeded to integrate said circuitry into subject's frontal lobe more fully, utilizing tracery made of room temperature superconductors. SCP-212 ended by administering an unknown chemical that immediately placed the subject in a coma, then shut itself down. No attempts were made to replace severed limbs or repair damage to bodily organs aside from normal cleaning. Subject status. Subject remains in a chemically induced coma, in stable condition. Foreign circuitry in brain appears to be spreading at a geometric rate. Estimate complete replacement of biological brain tissue in data expunged. Subject, 34 years old, 112 kilograms, 176 centimeters, Caucasian, German descent, submitted request, approval granted. Description of upgrades, removal of stomach, intestines, large and small, liver and kidneys, organs replaced with two sacs of synthetic tissues attached to the esophagus, esophagus lined with the same tissue, sacs produce an acid capable of breaking down steel and transfer all nutrition directly to the bloodstream. This process produces no waste, and any indigestible matter is expelled up the esophagus and out the mouth. Eyes replaced with optic sensor pads capable of seeing visible, infrared, and ultraviolet light spectrum. Hands removed at the wrist and each replaced with eight metallic tentacles, each measuring 3.8 centimeters long. Subject status, medical leave until, date redacted, to allow adjustment to new internal structures. Subject D-Class, 23 years old, 62 kilograms, 178 centimeters, Caucasian, American descent, previously exposed to SCP-217 and decontaminated once the virus had run its course. Full mechanical conversion achieved. Approval for testing granted. Description of upgrades. Data expunged. Subject status. Subject escaped containment, overpowering two armed personnel and effortlessly bypassing several security measures. Subject recaptured after two hours, having caused redacted casualties and redacted injuries, as well as deactivating data expunged. Once recaptured, subject requested SCP classification, presumably in an attempt to avoid termination. Request was denied and subject was dismantled. Components were incinerated following examination and documentation. See file redacted. Subject, agent, 25 years old, 93 kilograms, 188 centimeters, African American descent. Submitted request, approval granted. Description of upgrades. Skin replaced with nanomaterial mesh of thick tubes coated in microscopic barbs. Tips of fingers and toes replaced with carbon claws, about 8 centimeters long. Limb bones restructured for quadrupedal stance, heart and lungs replaced by single organ, with a second similar organ as backup. Digestive system cleaned and shortened significantly. Left eye replaced with ultrasound sensor. Subject status. Stable, but behaving erratically. Contained, pending psychological analysis. Subject. Doctor. 26 years old. 142 kilograms. 200 centimeters multiracial descent. Subject was rendered fully blind due to accidental exposure to SCP redacted. Submitted request approval granted. Description of upgrades. Removal of both eyes. Orbits widened to meet and form a single oval cavity. Cavity is lined with metallic structures resembling large cilia. Amputation of both hands. Stumps fused together and several small limbs resembling crab pincers grafted to the forearms in no apparent pattern. Teeth removed for cleaning. Teeth with fillings discarded, remainder replaced. Subject status, deceased. Subject had begun undergoing medical imaging when he began to suffer extreme pain, describing the sensation as, it tastes all wrong. The cilia-like structures then reshaped into sharp points and extended rapidly in length, many piercing the subject's brain. The gripper limbs continued independent movement for several hours until subject was incinerated. Subject D-5354, 22 years old, multiracial descent. Subject was scheduled for disciplinary termination and had consumed a last meal consisting of seafood. Subject was already deceased when exposed to SCP-212. 
description of upgrades. After spending four minutes analyzing and probing subject SCP-212 dissected subject, carefully removing the stomach and intestinal tract. Stomach was then opened, and a bioluminescent lobster-like organism was constructed from its contents. Subject status. After removing and altering subject's stomach contents as described above, rest of subject's remains were discarded. Subject. Mummy of Intef II, Pharaoh of the 11th Dynasty of Egypt, circa 2063 BCE. The mummy had been collected during a research expedition by the Foundation's predecessor entity in the early 19th century. Description of Upgrades SCP-212 spent 25 minutes analyzing subject, then ceased activity without having altered subject. Following this, Dr. Morrison directed that the four canopic jars that were collected from Intef II's tomb also be placed in the containment chamber. SCP-212 then reactivated and used a scalpel and a heating tool to make minor alterations to four amulets in the mummy's wrappings before again ceasing activity. Subject status. Apparently unchanged, except that the aggregate mass of the subject appears to have decreased slightly. Subject. D-5442, 27 years old, Japanese-American descent. Description of upgrades. SCP-212 removes the subject's limbs and nose. It scans for three minutes before replacing the nose with a silicon version and implanting a thin plastic tube with the nasal cavity coated in an unknown blue mucus. Subject status. Subject struggled to breathe and described a pleasant smell. The subject expired one hour later from asphyxiation. Subject, a white laboratory rat. Description of upgrades. The tail was removed, and SCP-212 began to alter the skeletal structure to resemble that of a bipedal organism. All organs were then removed except the lungs and heart. The additional space was filled with a white paste which hardened. Remains were incinerated after analysis. Subject, the corpse of MTF New 7, Officer Harold Goldman, Caucasian American descent, mauled by an instance of SCP redacted which had left a large opening in the chest and abdomen. Several organs were devoured by the SCP instance. Description of upgrades. SCP-212 scanned the subject for 10 minutes before sewing the remaining pieces of intestines back together and repairing sections with a patch of synthetic tissues. SCP-212 then ceases activity after probing the areas where organs should be. Subject status incinerated.